Hotel family. Uh, welcome to tonight's class on complementarity. And uh, the second part of the womanhood class, last week, general topic of womanhood. Tonight, complementarity. Next week, motherhood. And our last class will be sisterhood. Okay, I have two very important quotes I'm asking everybody to write down because I think they're so important. Uh, the first one, committing to marriage and family is the revolutionary act of our time. Now, the revolutionary act of our time, I'm playing on Mama Marimba's uh, quote, to be African, in which, of course, first and foremost, we have to be African. To be African is the revolutionary act of our time but I'm seeing uh, more of us are willing to be African but we're not necessarily willing to commit to marriage and family so I would put those hand in hand because if we have all these single people and we're not forming families so we're African but part of being African is forming families so I think we can't be do one without the other and I think you know, the state of our marriage and families, we really have to stress that point. And my second quote is, working on your marriage is nation building work. And I like that one, and came up with that based upon, we're all, we love African people, we're all involved in nation building work, and we're busy, we're working, you know, we're teaching, uh, we're meeting, uh, doing our uh, political meetings, we're learning our culture, we're getting names, clothes, drumming, dance, African languages. We're doing all this nation building work. And we don't realize that working on our marriage is nation building work. So when we have a list of nation building work, I think this needs to be number one, marriage and family, first and foremost. Because really, uh, because of the state in which we find ourselves in this state of oppression, Literally, you could work 24-7, and we would still, you know, it would be forever to uh, build our nation. So as we do, and that doesn't mean that, okay, we're only going to work on our marriages. I'm sorry, I can't help in the community. I'm working on my marriage. But it does mean working on your marriage is a priority, and you must schedule time to do that because otherwise there's always, we've definitely found there's always something going on in the community. There's a need, there's work to be done, and that's going to be ongoing because it took us hundreds of years to get to this point. So it will be hundreds of years to get back to where we were. But in the interim, okay, uh, just like we, if you're poor or like most of us, you know, you need to work to pay the bills. But at the same time, while you're doing that, we can't say, okay, no, I can't have a job, I can't work, I have to do nation building work, or I have to work on my marriage. But we have to multitask, and we have to prioritize recognizing that our marriages are a major priority. And of course, marriage and family. Now, for this call, I just put marriage, because I think most of us recognize the need uh, for taking care of our children, but we often don't put see working on our marriage as nation building work so learn to do that okay trying to find a compliment uh, definitely you, you should have two individuals that have some basic similarities because otherwise what do you you, you know work from so it's going to be something you have in common beyond this attraction but even the attraction if it's not lust even the attraction is there's something you see in that person uh, that's similar to you. Uh, unless you're you know, trying to be rebellious, you're just looking for somebody who's totally opposite of everything that you do. And I would say specifically for those of us who are African-centered, first and foremost, you should be looking for an African-centered compliment. Otherwise, and we've seen many examples of this, it will not work. Uh, uh, we see sometimes sisters or brothers play a role because they see someone who's African-centered and that's who they want and they're willing to play that role but when it's not sincerely that individual, they, there's a marriage 
And unfortunately, what we know with some of our sons, okay, and then the children come, and then she feels she has the upper hand, I have the children, and we see another side, okay, but, but when the marriage occurs, then the real person comes through. So, you know, as much as possible, trying to make sure that this is someone who is sincerely uh, interested and has a love for our people and that is not based on uh, a desire for you but it has to be from within because if not you know again that's not going to last long character but I've added to that list in bold letters good character is utmost important and of course many of these things you know are part of being a good character uh, in fact um, I remember a sister telling me who had not found a compliment and she was thinking you know she's getting older and thinking this may not happen so she you know was talking to one of her elders uh, thinking about well I'll do the motherhood without the compliment and the elder mama told her, make sure he's a good character. Because, you know, someone, even if your marriage doesn't work out, if the two of you are of good character, you can um, reasonably, without the drama, of course it's painful <coughs> tears, but without the cursing and I'm trying to destroy you and all of that madness, we're good character. We can agree that we need to separate and we can do it respectfully mm -hmm. in an African way because divorce did happen in traditional African societies as well but it needs to be done someone with good character will do that in a way that it should be um, I think I heard Baba talking about this last night in the manhood class on complementary so if you have challenges and say you live alone and you have nice friends who, who won't tell you what your challenges are and your family members may be scared to tell you what your uh, challenges are, just get married <laughs> and your spouse will bring up things you never dreamed of. Um, because, you know, and something Brother Brewery talked about last night, actually, at a certain point, if you stay in a long-term marriage, you will have lived with your spouse longer than your family, mm -hmm. and you're living with them as an adult. Mm -hmm. Because our personalities, as parents, we see our children's personalities to a certain degree. But if you're strong African parents, they're not allowed to go crazy, you know, so they have to hold in whatever until they get grown. But when you are married, you're already an adult, so say Broody and I have almost 30 years, so I lived with my mom 17 years and go off to college. So that's a big difference. And she's, she knows me, knew me as a child. Well, she's still, as an ancestor, she still knows me. But from baby to 17, and of course, have learned and changed dramatically in those years. So actually, your spouse really gets to know the real you. And they will let you know. <laughs> because, you know, when I just have to say this. When Bob Brody and I got married, you know, I was sweet. And Linda and my family members just love me because I'm just a sweet pie. <laughs> you know, and now, Brother Baruti, you know, it was easy for me to, oh, this brother has issues. <laughs> However, along the way, now, I don't know how he came to these conclusions, but he thought Miss Sweetie Pie, yeah, had some challenges. <laughs> and, you know, I had to learn that. Yeah, I'm a Sweetie Pie, but I, but I didn't think I was perfect. But things, you know, you know, it, uh, my family members, if it's never pointed out to you, the other things about yourself, you just don't know. You need somebody to point it out to you. You know, it's like what's going on in the back of, behind you. If you don't have a mi double mirror, you have no idea. But somebody who's standing back there can tell you. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I do know that uh, marriages experience trouble 
and sometimes people separate sometimes people are, you know that's the reality so first we try to avoid it if at all possible but having seen some nasty breakups in our African Center community just broke my heart we need uh, community guidelines we need protocol so some things just some thoughts of mine um, if you're in a, tr a troubled marriage, seek the counsel of long-term married couples who love you both, okay, so they want you to stay together. Number two, unless there's a threat of physical harm, or if you, the other side of that, if you feel you're about to mentally or emotionally collapse, you know, that you, you've got to get out of there, okay. Now, and that doesn't mean that you have to divorce, but you might have to separate, get intervention but yeah so no if you feel you're on the verge of mental or emotional collapse yes that is a reason to um, separate uh, three if you must physically separate whoever's leaving the home go to a family member if possible because see this is where all this mess can start going on so you whoever's leaving the house go lives with someone who has someone of the other gender in the house it's a you know a recipe for disaster mm -hmm. if you were in in the home of a family member and i did i think add on there where there is no one available for you to cheat with on in the premises so if you're going to cheat that means you're going out your way to do it mm -hmm. can't be oh i drank a, ga a glass of wine whatever you know no, no excuses <laughs> But you know, that's why from my, I, I don't drink, but on TV, that's what you do, right? You loosen up, you get rid of your inhibitions. Okay, because you want to do wrong. All right. Um, and that goes either way. Uh, whoever's leaving the house, you should be, not put yourself in a place of temptation. I think there should be a minimum one year separation, just like I believe there should be a minimum one year before actually getting married. But a year separation, people want to separate and ready for a divorce. So that means you've given up, you haven't tried. And I understand, you may feel you're about to lose your mind. In that case, get separate. But divorce shouldn't be your first step after that. Okay, and during this period, not that, okay, we can't file for divorce till a year and you sleeping around and all this. No, you're spending that year, you know, trying to save your marriage. Five, seek counsel throughout your relationship, okay? Um, be righteous during the separation. No friendships with the opposite sex, because again, a recipe, you crying on their shoulder, and it's going further. Be financially responsible, making sure you're contributing to, you know, the bills that still come in, even though you are separated. Spend time with your children and share the child rearing responsibilities because you're separating from each other, but the children have nothing to do with that. They still need to be taken care of. Limit your discussion of your what's going on to righteous, not just elders, but if they're true elders, they are righteous. But let me specify, righteous elders and couples make two lists. What are the good things? Why should you stay in this marriage? And another list. Okay, make a list of why you married this person in the first place. A list of reasons to stay, reasons to divorce. Uh, think about all your single friends who want to be married while you're quickly ready to say peace out. Uh, think about the challenges that they're having. Think about the challenges of children of divorce. Uh, let divorce be your last option.